Hello, I would like to show you what I have been working on with RepoMaker this past week. So here's a test repository that's empty and was never published. Normally when you want to add an app to this repository you need to upload an APK, but not everybody knows what an APK is and where to get it from. So that's why we introduced remote repositories. Um, at the moment we don't have any, but let me add one to show you how it works. So you click here and you add the URL of the remote repository. Um, if you just add the simple URL like this, it has no fingerprint in it. It will complain that it can not validate the authenticity of the repository. So let's add a repository with a proper fingerprint. Now it downloads the index in the background and verifies it with the signing key, makes sure the fingerprint matches and then we have the repository here. But it still tells us there, it's not there are no apps available. That is because um, downloading the repository took long enough, so we don't want to keep the user waiting. So all the apps of the repository are actually added in the background, and that includes um, fetching the icons of the app. So if I refresh here, we now have two apps that are in my own repository. And we click on an app and get the option to add this app to our own repository. So when I do this, the app is immediately in my repository. It's very quick. Um, but the repository um, can still not be published with this app because the APK from the remote repository is also downloading in the background. And we do this because... No, no, it's there. We do this because um, there might be repositories with thousands of apps and you don't we don't want to download all of them if they may be not ever needed. So we just download the APKs on demand. So that's almost it. Let me just show you how it looks like when you add another repository, like this unofficial testing repository here. So this was also rather quick. And now we have two repositories and in the background at the moment um, it downloads all the icons. And then we have the option to actually switch between the repositories. So this is this one that is empty and this is the one from before and this is all. And now you see like lots of other apps showed up and of course we can also add these apps to our own repository really easily. And if we would have our phone and we would scan this QR code here, we would get those two apps already delivered to all our users. So that is it for today. Thank you very much and talk to you later.